Hey there, before we get started, if you've enjoyed one of my classes before, please take a quick second to click the subscribe button. It's completely free and helps my channel out so much more than you know. Thank you and enjoy class. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariana Elizabeth and welcome to your new morning ritual. This is going to be a lovely flow to do right when you wake up. Nothing too crazy, but definitely a full body stretch, a little bit of movement, a little bit of blood flow. Um, you may break a sweat, you might not. So yeah, but it'll be something lovely to do every day when you wake up, most definitely. All right, all you'll need is a mat and yourself, and we'll get started. Let's actually come into our little child's pose. Nice and wide with the knees, toes together if you'd like, or you can add a little bit of space between them if you want to get deeper into your hips, but we're going to sink those hips back. Slide your palms forward, relax your arms on the mat forehead comes to the mat. Big breath in. And exhale. One more inhale. And release. Let's give yourself just a moment. Rock your forehead side to side. And then we'll walk those palms in together. Spread your fingers and draw your hands behind your head. Big breath in, stretch into those triceps. And exhale. One more time, inhale. And on the next exhale, really press your chest towards the mat. Nice, palms come down all the way up into your tabletop and let me tell you something wonderful to do in the morning is some spinal rolls so we'll start with our hips back towards our heels chin to your chest round it forward and then drop your belly as you roll it back nice chin to chest arch through that back or round through the back and then arch through your belly as you come back two more times last one and on this next one let's curl those toes hips go up to your downward facing dog feel free to pedal this out you can bend generously into your knees you're trying to work your belly towards your thighs so almost like you're massaging your belly with the tops of your legs awesome palms are pressing into the mat shoulders are engaged right here and then we'll come to a still downward facing dog take that left hand to the outer right ankle and gaze under your right armpit come back to center ground that left palm right hand to the outer left ankle gaze under the left shoulder or the left armpit and back to center nice gaze forward and take a nice big step hop or tiptoe to the top of your mat nice chin to chest roll it all the way up and then round those arms behind you sweep them up palms together hands come to heart center Relax your shoulders, relax your jaw here. Add some space between your teeth. Remove your tongue from the roof of your mouth. Nice, one big breath in. And exhale. Very nice, go ahead and flutter those eyes open. Inhale, arms sweep up to your extended mountain pose. And let's go ahead and add a little balance right here in the beginning. Lift the heels up and really press into those big toes. See how high you can lift your heels, but also engage through your core, kind of tuck your, your uh, pelvis down a little bit. So you're in a nice straight line, almost like you're trying to reach up to the ceiling, deep breath in. And then on the exhale, keep those heels lifted, bend into the knees, coming into a little chair pose. Heels lifted, nice. Let yourself balance just for a second. Three, two, 
and then we're gonna slowly lower all the way down into a boat pose. So bum comes to the mat, arms are still reaching up, lift the feet. Maybe your toes are touching on the mat, that's fine. Maybe they're lifted, maybe they're straightened for three, two, and one. Nice, feet come down, and then we're gonna let the knees go over to the left. What we're doing is we're coming to standing on our knees, or sitting on our heels actually, sorry about that. Right hand comes down, sweep the left arm over. Big stretch here. And then the left hand is going to come all the way down, and we're gonna straighten through that right leg, reach the right arm all the way up. Nice, big stretch here. Nice. Alrighty, let's go ahead and lift that right leg. You can bend it, an option to reach for the top of your right foot. You can also take a strap here and connect it to your hand and then to your foot. Press that top of your right foot into your hand. Let that right shoulder roll back. Nice, release down. Right hand comes to meet the left. Come to a high plank and vinyasa. Option to come to your knees and take your push up or take a full push up. Inhale, upward facing dog if you choose that. And exhale, hips go up and back to your downward facing dog. Nice, big breath in. And exhale. All right, inhale, gaze forward. And a nice big step, hop or float to the top of your mat. This time we'll take a little halfway lift. Inhale, halfway lift, hold here. Rock some weight into your heels. Legs are as straight as you can get them. Option to have your hands on your shins, your thighs, or floating right to the mat. As long as you're rolling those shoulders back, almost like you're trying to hold a pencil in between your shoulder blades. Deep breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Chin and chest, roll it all the way up. And sweep the arms all the way behind you, up to center, together, and then to heart center. Again, finding that space between your teeth, relaxing the jaw, relaxing the shoulders. Big inhale. And exhale. Perfect. Arms are going to reach up on your next inhale and we're lifting the heels. Really pressing into the big toes. So we're not opening up and rolling onto our pinkies. We're trying to shift all that weight to our big toes. Maybe your heels even come together to touch. Engage the core to help you out here. Deep breath in. Exhale, bend the knees, coming to your chair pose. Always an option to lower the heels if you'd like. And then on the next exhale, we'll slowly lower all the way down. Boat pose. You can always lower your arms as well. Take whatever boat pose works for you. For three, two, feet come down. Nice. We're going to rock over to the right and then come to sitting on our heels. Left hand comes down, we're reaching it over, nice and long, never bending at the elbow. And then sweeping it all the way up and over, right palm comes down, straighten through that left leg, big stretch over to the right. Nice, already, we're lifting that leg. Reach behind you, if you can grasp it, press the top of that foot into your hand, Roll your shoulder back. This is a little back bend. And exhale. Lower that foot. Come to your high plank. Nice. Take your vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice. Big breath in. And exhale. Lovely, inhale, the right leg lifts. And exhale, step it in between your hands. 
perfect. Straighten through the back leg and then straighten through the front leg. Fingertips are on the mat, framing the foot, but lift your chest so your back is nice and flat and press that left heel forward. Should feel really good in your hamstrings right here. Nice. Walk the hands to the left. Turn the toes in. Inhale, lift your chest. And then exhale, wide-legged forward fold. Should feel real juicy in here. Remember to relax your gaze so you're looking directly behind you, like through your legs. You're not supporting your head. You're not looking in between your hands. You can nod your head yes here. You can shake it no. And if you want to feel it a little bit more, rock some weight into those toes. This is lovely to do in the morning. Kind of um, get some blood flow into your brain starting out in the morning, which helps with creativity. Very much so. So I don't like to rush this part. All right, palms down because I could stay here for a while. Press on up and we will walk the hands back to the front. Lovely, bend into that knee. Inhale up to your crescent. You're bending nice and deep into that front leg. Left heel is still pressing forward. Arms are reaching up, but shoulders are relaxed. Nice, deep breath in. And then on the exhale, drop the right hand, open up to the right. Adding a little twist here. You can either stay here or you can take that right hand to the outer left thigh. Reach that left arm up and back, deep breath in. Not here for long. And then exhale, left hand is gonna come on the inner right foot. You're just doing a little twist here. A little closed twist. One more breath in. And on this exhale, we're gonna take a horizon lunge. So you're gonna spin onto the left edge of your foot and onto the right edge of your right foot. You're reaching that right hand back towards the back of your mat, getting into that right thigh, hip, glute. Pressing into the left palm, one more breath in. On that exhale, rise all the way up and step the right foot back to meet your left option to take a vinyasa there if you like or if you're not really shooting for that this morning no worries all right let's do the left side inhale the left leg lifts exhale low lunge step it in between your hands all right set up here you're pressing the right heel forward straightening through that leg and then straightening through the left leg Make sure that your hips are squared so you're pulling that left hip back, right hip forward. Fingertips are on the mat. Lift your chest so it's nice and flat in your back. And then if you like, you can melt forward a little bit more. Don't forget to press that right heel forward. Big breath in. Long exhale. We'll walk the hands to the right. Toes turn in, wide-legged forward fold. Sorry for my bum in your face. <laughs> Sometimes I like to rest my forearms on the mat, palms facing up, and again, looking directly through your legs. Adding space between your teeth, rocking some weight into those toes. Big inhale here. Stay for your exhale. hands underneath your shoulders press halfway up walk the hands back to the front all right you're still pressing into that right heel if you find your knee is going far above your ankle walk that foot back a little bit that means that you have more flexibility more space than you think you do all righty inhale to your crescent lunge arms are reaching up sink into that lunge shoulders are relaxed Enjoy this for a moment. You should feel it in 
of that right hip and quad. And that hip flexor too. Deep breath in. On the exhale, left hand drops down. You're opening up to a twist. This is gonna challenge your balance. Still straighten through that right leg. Option to take the right hand, the left hand on the outer right thigh. And then reach that right arm back. Big inhale here. And on the exhale, with control, right hand comes down, take your time. Open up the left arm to a closed twist. One more breath in. Exhale, horizon lunge. So the left edge of your left foot, right edge of your right foot. Reaching that left arm behind you. You're gonna feel it all on the outside of that left leg and glute. One more breath in. Exhale, all the way up. Step the left foot back. And we'll take a vinyasa here. Round it forward. Take your push up. Inhale, up dog. Make sure in this up dog, your thighs aren't falling on the mat. You're pointing your toes, engaging your thighs. Use your core to lift you back up to that down dog. Big inhale. And exhale. Nice. We'll walk those hands back towards our feet. Hold on to the backs of your ankles. Make sure there's a little bit of space between your feet. Rock some weight into your toes. If this feels good, find a breath in. And exhale, bend your elbows out away from your body while your belly comes in towards your thighs. Gaze is directly between your legs. Relax your head. Shift weight, more weight into your toes. One more inhale. And for the length of your next exhale, pull in just for that length of that exhale. On the next inhale, lift up, heels come up, take a little toe stand. Think Barbie feet. Those heels are going forward, stretching into your toes. So I like to make sure that I adjust all my toes so that they're all getting stretched evenly because that pinky toe is going to fight for its life. <laughs> it's the shortest toe I have. Well, it's pretty much the shortest toe everybody has, but you know what I'm saying. Maybe you challenge yourself with a little balance. Maybe even lifting your chest a little bit, or you can keep your fingertips on the mat if you just wanna work into that foot stretch. I'm wobbling all over the place. All right, we're gonna straighten back through the legs so we can bring those heels down. Very nice. Go ahead and just counter that, so just kind of stretching the toes the opposite way. Nothing too serious. Very nice, come all the way down onto your mat. Come to your easy seat. <sighs> palms face up, simply because sometimes when I face my palms down, I find myself gripping and holding on to something. It's time to release, this is the morning time, or whenever you're watching this, is a lovely time to let go of the things you cannot control. There is no use in worrying about things that are literally completely out of your control. If you're nervous, if you're anxious, remember that none of those two things are from the Lord. None of them are from God. That's all from the enemy and it's a lie. They're natural human feelings, human emotions, of course, but just remember that God did not give us a spirit of fear, but of a sound mind. Peace, love, and I should go into the fruits of the spirit, but I will add that into another class. <laughs> Nonetheless, friends, I want you to take a big breath in, inhaling all of God's love, 
peace, generosity, and grace towards us. And exhale fear, worry, anxiety. Remember who is in control. One more breath in through the nose. A long exhale out. You can flutter your eyes open. God bless you, friends. I hope you enjoy today's class. I hope that you have a lovely rest of your day. I truly mean that. I know that you are blessed, but I hope you realize how much you are blessed. Even if you're able to just watch this video and move as much as we just did, you are extremely blessed. I want you to know that you are favored. You are God's child. He loves you. He adores you. He sees you. He knows you. And he has not abandoned you, no matter what the world says, no matter what's going on around you. You are favored by him. You are his child. All right. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you in the next class. If you would like to support me, please feel free to subscribe. If you're not subscribed, um, you can like this video, which is really, really helpful. Or you can um, send me a little love donation. Um, I'll have my cash up and Venmo on the next screen. No pressure, but truly everything is extremely appreciated. All right. See you later. Bye.